I'll flare the police. They don't hear that often. I'm surprised they haven't set up a little office. Somewhere hang the wraps, have a cup of tea. We see enough of them as it is, and it's never good news. Give us them, Chas. Look, the lunchtime rush is over. Why don't you put your feet up for five minutes? I've finished my chemo, Doug. I'm not an invalid. Just don't overdo it, all right? Oh, you'll have me to answer to. Yeah, fat chance with you lot on me back. Thanks for saving me yesterday. Yeah, well, someone had to. Last thing Aaron needs is you getting arrested. I know. I got it. The wooden scum. He's not worth it. Let the police deal with him. As long as you've got Aaron's back. Well, you just lay off the vigilante stuff and stay away from Gordon. I'm on it. It's going to take a bit of time, but I'm going to get this sorted. DS Wise would like a word. It's not Aaron. Been an incident. Vandalism at your ex-husband's home. Gordon? No. Is he all right? Yeah, he is, but his car seemed better days. Who the heck would want to vandalise him? Well, if you could just give us a minute, huh? I hope you catch him. And you think I give a stuff because... We have a witness. Description fits you to a T. Spray paint. Hmm? Oh, what on earth are you playing at, Chaz? I was here behind the bar all day. You also told the witness that Gordon abuses children. He did. Allegedly. Until he's proven guilty in a court, he is innocent in the eyes of the law. He's not, though, is he? Look, uh, I understand the pressure that you're under, but do you really think this is going to help Aaron's case? So maybe it wasn't one of my best ideas. But I had to do something because he's out there living his life as if nothing has happened. You have to let us do our job and let the jury do theirs. Right, so what happens now? You're going to cuff me, chuck me in a cell? Yeah. You're going to come down to the station, I'm going to give you a warning. As long as you stay away from your ex-husband, that's it. Right. I'm not saying sorry. As if the poor bloke hadn't suffered enough. The last thing you need when you're recovering from cancer is more stress. So why don't you stop stressing yourself out about someone you hardly know? Maybe you'd be better off here for a day or two. I thought him and Ches were on a break. I mean, I know Aaron and him hardly see eye to eye, but... Oh, there's nothing worse than feeling unsafe in your own home. Poor Gordon. Mm. Nothing poor about him. There's been some sort of incident. Vandals. Could have happened to a nicer bloke. Fine, please, Dan. Chaz in the back. She rushed off to the police station the minute she heard. Typical. Anyone needs help, she's right there. But what's she doing with the police if he's the victim? It might have something to do with this. It's all over Twitter. What does that say? I can't make it out. Pedlo. Pedo. Why would anyone call him that? As if Chaz would be down the police station helping out some child abuser, eh? Some would say there's no smoke without fire. Yeah, and some was Fleming well wouldn't. I don't believe a word of it. I don't care what accusations are being thrown at him. Aaron's father is not a paedophile. And who says he is? There's been a bit of trouble for your dad and your mum's at the police station doing what she can to help, so... Nothing for you to worry about. <laughs>